Thank you very much. They are some of the best athletes in the world, but they didn't even start with bobsled as their original sport. So many women on this United States bobsled team were track and field athletes before they joined the Winter Olympics. My coach, uh, my senior year of college, kind of told me about the sport, and I kind of brushed it off at the time because I was so focused on track and field and thinking that that was my way to the Olympics. About a year and a half later, I wasn't even doing track and field anymore, and that's when bobsled came back into the picture. I went and tried it out and ended up being pretty good. <laughs> And one of these bobsledders wasn't even a track and field. She was a volleyball player and was in the business world prior to becoming a bobsledder. Just got my MBA and then 16 days after graduation, I tried out for bobsled and I haven't looked back since. Any missing of the real world, quote unquote, business side of things? Or? Oh, good goodness, no. <laughs> this is the best job I've ever had. Um, it's, it's there's something very special just to have the letters USA on your back and compete on an international stage. And the success of some of these athletes is clearly rubbing off on America's youth. Especially being from the South and being a woman of color, I visited many schools, especially in Florida where my parents grew up, in a very um, low-income community and showing those kids that it doesn't matter where you come from, it doesn't matter that I'm not from a, you know, winter climate, I can do all things that I put my mind to. I write my own story. A championship effort from all of the American women here at the Bobsled World Cup. And it remains to be seen which of these teams makes the Olympic roster and if any of them will take home a medal. Reporting from Lake Placid, New York, Rich Donnelly, News 10, NBC Sports.